I'm Jono. And I'm Sydney. And we're gearheads here at Competitive Cyclist. And today we're going to chat about the new Wahoo Kicker V6. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Let's do it. So Wahoo's been around for a while now. Um, it's been 10 years since they first wow. released their first kicker. Oh man, that kind of makes me feel old. I know, same. <laughs> they look similar, but uh, there's a lot more technology packed into this one than the uh, first gen that we saw 10 years ago. Yeah, definitely has so, a lot of new stuff with this new one. Yeah, so let's talk about the new features that it has. Yeah, so there's three main features that are coming out, but there's one in particular that I'm super excited about, so I'm gonna start with that one. It's called the Erg Easy Ramp, and anyone that's done a hard interval session on the trainer can probably relate. If you ever have to get off for some reason and stop in the middle of your interval, it's the worst getting your legs back up to speed. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, you're just all, you're frozen in time, it feels like. Thankfully, Wahoo has a new feature called the Erg Easy Ramp, which gives you 10 seconds from when you start pedaling again to get your legs back up to speed before you start your initial effort again. That's Makes good. total sense. And I'm personally really excited about it because it feels like they're coming from an athlete perspective, which is you know really important. So yeah. that's really cool. That's a nice addition for sure. With this one, you have the Wi-Fi connectivity. Game changer. Yeah, way more reliable. We've all been there, had a Bluetooth connection. We're all uh, amped up on our pre-workout <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Get on the trainer and it's not connected and you lose, you know, five, 20 minutes, whatever, um, battling that. So you start sweating before your actual workout. Yeah. That's the worst. If you even get to the workout, you yeah. might just give up. <laughs> so your upload speeds to, you know, getting your numbers to your computer are a lot quicker. I mean, who doesn't love that, right? You yeah. do a session you're really proud of, and then you're like, oh, oh sure. I got to see my PRs or yeah. lack thereof. There's also the odometer, which is a Ooh. really cool addition. And it's cool because not only are you keeping track of your miles and, you know, getting all those bragging rights for your yeah. friends. This is how many miles I rode indoors, not outdoors. Uh, you also can kind of keep track of the wear on your equipment. So you can see, you know, keep track, make sure that you can have fresh, ah, have a fresh <laughs> chain, cassette, all that good stuff. And so we actually, if you didn't know, we sell those parts at Competitive Cyclist. Do we really? Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> That is good because so many people leave their bikes on the trainer over their winter time and a lot of people may not upload to, you know, Strava where they're tackling all their miles for the year and they might forget, oh yeah, I did put a oh, thousand miles on my bike. Totally. And you, you get know? to springtime and your bike's like, please help me. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't loop the chain because yeah. you weren't running outside and <laughs> no. it's, it's worn out. So it's definitely cool to have. Yeah. So a continued feature to the last one was the axis feet. We see those again. I noticed that, yeah. Yeah, so this what gives you a little bit of side-to-side -side play so you don't feel so oh, locked in on the ground. It's a little more realistic feeling. Very cool. Which is nice to see them continue on to the new kicker. That's definitely got to come into play when you're, you know, mid-January. You've been on the trainer for how long now? Just any anything to feel like you're on yeah. the outdoors helps, right? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So what is in the box? Everything you need to get set up. It's super cool. We got a kicker here, so obviously. And then uh, it comes with the cassette, 11 speed. It's gonna be 1128 HG free hub body. If you want a different free hub body, you will have to pay for that separately. We do sell those, so reach out to one of our gearheads and they can get you the right one. They make them for XD, XDR, and then also for Campy. So you can get pretty much anything to work on it, um, except micro spline. Shimano 12 speed mountain, you're gonna have to go different route. Which know. is, I don't know, you, you're out of luck. SOL, as we say. <laughs> and then, uh, so how are you going to get your bike on here? Obviously, the end caps. It's got to yeah. work on a ton of different standards. It's got so. adapters for both 130 and 135. Yep, quick release. Yep. And then for uh, through axles, we got boost and non-boost 12 by 142 and 148. Super boost will not work. So you have to go a different route there, find a different trainer. Uh, call one of our gearheads, they can help you out. Um, what else do you need to know? We got power yeah. cords. Literally powers the ride. <laughs> yeah, um, you're gonna have to have those in order to get any sort of resistance out of the machine. So. Yeah, it won't work without it. So make power. sure you're plugged in. I've definitely done that a few times before where I'm like, wait, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, you need the power to <laughs> yeah. put down the power. There you go. Then the axis feet comes with three different sizes. Uh, the smallest ones you'll use if you're 140 pounds or lighter. The large ones you'll use if you're 181 plus and the middle ones are right in between. So it really is great for riders of all types to get fit to their kicker. So tech specs of this bad boy, 2200 watts is what you get up to. So it's just my warm up. Just her warm up. <laughs> um, if you're a pro, it's probably gonna be good for you too. Uh, and then jumping onto simulated grade. So it can mimic a 20% incline negative uh, 10%, so. You get the best of, of both worlds. Yeah, it's no one close. wants to climb over 20% anyway, yeah. so you're off your bike walking, nope. right? 
I am. Um, and the overall weight of it, it's 47 pounds, so it's pretty easy to move around with this grab handle here. Yeah, um, I love this thing. You can change room to room, and it also folds up really compact too, so yeah. it makes it really easy to carry, which is yeah. great. You can even like tilt it sideways, shove it under a bed, yeah, wherever it, it, it hides away pretty, pretty easily. Yeah, definitely. Uh, power accuracy, it's uh, within 1% wow. plus or minus, so. That's crazy. That's really good. If you're really having good. a bad day, you can't blame it on the trainer. I'm sorry. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> the max rider weight. We spoke about rider weight with the, with the axis feet. 250 pounds is the max that they say, so you want to keep it under there. Uh, so who is this trainer for? I definitely think it's for everyone. Whether you're just looking to get a workout or you're actually doing a training plan, training for your events, I think it's built for either of those. Uh, I personally love using it just because it saves so much time, especially if you live in a cold climate too. I mean, I, I live in freezing temperatures and- It's not fun riding outside no, when it's that cold. No, not at all. Especially when I get home from work and it's already dark out. So it's really nice to have this because I can get, I can still get a two hour ride in. I know it's efficient. I love knowing that I can have my workouts loaded into the Wahoo ecosystem, which is also their training platform called the Wahoo RGT. It's super cool. You get to ride along all sorts of different courses. And I mean, I love it. Yeah. So. And I'd say, you know, if, if it's just good for people in a time crunch, if you have to get home, you know, you got yeah. kids at home, or if it's school night and you just got to be there to spend time with family and it, yeah. you can still squeeze in your ride before work, after work. Um, quality over quantity for yeah. sure. And you can get way better quality training, you know, on a kicker. You don't have traffic to deal with. Oh, yeah. Like, it's just... Don't have to layer up in the winter. I mean, you're permanently in just bibs and, oh, yeah. you know, short sleeves. Or... Yeah. Usually I'm just in bibs because it's yeah. so hot. <laughs> so <basically>. hot. <laughs> hey, yeah. You should get the, the kicker fan, too. I should. Yeah. I, yeah. That, that helps out. Yeah. So you spoke of the Wahoo RGT, which is a really cool software that they have. If you're familiar with Zwift, it's very similar to that. Um, maybe a little bit better, depending on who you are. Yeah. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with it, you should know about it. So let's let's chat about it. Well, they have an option where you can go through and like plug in your own world and routes, right? Yeah. So if you, if for here, a uh, popular can canyon that we would like to ride is Immigration Canyon. So you can get that that Strava file, put it in RG RGT, and you can ride that, simulate that exact ride. That and, just blows my mind. Yeah. I think that is like the coolest thing. I'm going to do that for all my races oh, yeah. this year. It's I'm going to like pre-ride pre my race and be like, that's yeah. my edge, I think. <laughs> I think so. You can break down your race into, you know, multiple days and then just totally. focus on those segments and you're riding like a, you know, artificial world, but it's yeah. it's the course, you know, the same grades and the power that you need. It's yeah. Really cool. Definitely more interesting than just staring at your power meter, right? Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. If you don't want to use RGT, you can use all the classics like Zwift and Trainer Road, all those all those softwares. It works yeah. with pretty much everything you can think of. So we learned about the power. Let's learn about the whole Wahoo lineup. Where where can I start? With the kicker snap. Okay. Definitely start there. That's the most economical option. Yep, wheel on. Uh, same for the kicker roller. Uh, yep. It's going to be simulated roller. It does hold the front, so you're not having to deal with the balancing of the roller. Um, then we jump to the kicker core, um, which is very similar to this. It's a direct drive, uh, wheel off, and then kicker power. And what else? If you want the top of the line experience, you have to go for the kicker bike. Definitely is. If you don't want to get the wear and tear on your road bike, it's awesome to have that because you can just hop from bike to bike. Don't have to worry about, you know, all those winter grime and whatnot. For sure. Well, I think that just about sums it up. If you Sweet. have any further questions on this, who can I reach out to? Definitely reach out to our gearheads. They can answer any questions you have, and they're just a great resource to utilize. Yeah, and if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.